Well, so here we are in uh, my home town, ward, whatever you call it, of uh, Cockfostive. This is where I've grown up. I, uh, from a, a young age, I've just been walking uh, this road and uh, been part of Cockfostive, which is part of Enfield. One of the big issues now facing us with the boundary uh, commission proposals is that this part of Cockfostive would shift into uh, Chipping Barnet. That would mean that the Member of Parliament uh, are representing Barnet and all its uh, issues and concerns would also be representing a little part of uh, uh, its area, which would be Enfield, but it would be significantly Cockfosters. Now we know that uh, Cockfosters is just very close over there to Barnet, but what we also know is that our roots are in Enfield. I know that if you just go along uh, the Christ Church of Fosters and the parish of Fosters is all about here and about Chem Park and about uh, what uh, the Bevan family started up in terms of establishing the church and all the parish around it which is linked to Chem Park. I know from battling hard with, with locals about planning issues that the conservation area of Fosters is key and that really encompasses this part of Fosters, which is all in Enfield. But what we also know and any commuter will know that, is that as you uh, sit on the tube in the Piccadilly line, you'll see Cop Fosters. Most people know Cop Fosters because it's at the end of a, the Piccadilly line. And it's no surprise that the Piccadilly line goes from Cop Fosters to Oakwood to Southgate to Arnus Grove. There's key transportation links, there's key historical links, there's key parochial links. And as far as these businesses are concerned, and residents, you know, they, they recognise that they're in the London Bar of Enfield. It's the London Borough of Enfield that collects their bins. It's the London Borough of Enfield that increasingly will be charging for their business rates. It's the London Borough of Enfield that they're concerned about when they have the Cat Hill development happening, when they have the proposals around Trent Park, when they have issues around transportation and other business needs. They need a member of parliament who's backing hard for them for Enfield. And that's why we need to get Enfield South get back together. At the moment, it's been splintered off. We've got fossils going one way, with Palmer's Green going another, with Bowes going another that's being lumped in with a small proportion of Enfield South Gibbon Finch. That doesn't make any sense. It's not what people want. They need a member parliament for Enfield Southgate, and that's what we're going to try and do all we can to encourage the Brandon Commission to see that. We need all your help. Please get onto the Save Our Southgate website, the Facebook campaign, and sign these petitions. Get those letters in as soon as you can. Thank you very much.